everyone. Fluffy here. Um, <clears throat> hi, just wanted to let you know that it is moving day today and I'm in our new home uh, and I'm waiting for another load. I, I, hope, I, I hope I'm getting my face because I don't know how to switch it back and forth so I'm just kind of like doing a selfie or something the old fashioned way. <laughs> So um, before everything gets here, because it's going to be some time before the house comes together, uh, my poor daughter hasn't had an ounce of sleep. I got maybe three hours, two and a half, but she hasn't had an ounce of sleep, so she's exhausted. She's at the old place, so uh, you never really got to see the old place. And God, it's a wreck right now. So I'm going to walk you around a little bit, show you uh, the new place. Okay, hang on. Here's Sheba. That she a little good girl, yeah. Okay. It's a little duplex. Here are two little dogs. You remember him? Here's Molly to Molly. Molly to Molly, yeah. Such a good girl. Okay. This is the entryway. That's the front door. Little thingy. It's kind of an awkward shape. Uh, they're stained concrete, which I love. Little. Texas Star type of thing. A little office area. I like that. Built in. That's the door to the backyard. Only thing I don't like about this house, God, I'm grateful for whatever we did, but the kitchen's a little small, but that just means we have to get creative. That was the chair I was just sitting in. It's our little dining area. I think it's big enough for our thingy. This is our kitchen. That door in the back is not a door to the back door. It's a door to the Washer and dryer go back there. There's a little kitchen area, the little sink area. Thank God for a dishwasher. <clears throat> Down the hall. I don't know why that's coming up blue. There's nothing blue outside. That's the daughter's, gonna be the daughter's room. Um, I don't know about internet, y'all. Uh, and filming. Money's real tight and they want a deposit, so I'm gonna have to wait. There I am. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> and then this is my room. I tell you, it's a little small duplex. That's my headboard. I really like the vaulted ceilings. I'm hoping it's coming out light. It seems like it's coming out light. Two bathrooms, which is good. I don't have to disturb her going to the main bathroom. And my walk-in closet. And the back door, the back window to the backyard. The backyard's kind of small, but it's enough for the three dogs. They're following me around. I love the stained concrete floors. I've always wanted that. The bathtub's a little small, but I think I can soak in it. So. I'm gonna sit, y'all. Okay. Okay, so I switched it. Look, I got like three hours worth of sleep. I really look like a busted can of biscuits today. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you, it's been something else. My poor kid, she has not had any sleep. She's so tired. We still have it finished at the old house, especially after they get moved. We just, you know, me lacking being able to help. And my sister's been great um, helping and stuff. So, and then now my two of my nephews, um, uh, are helping us move uh, with a trailer. They told me not to get a U-Haul because they were going to get a box truck on. I guess that kind of fell through, but they've got a flatbed trailer, so they already got the first load pretty quick in here. So um, I think the wife is going to come get her things at that house tomorrow. So um, hopefully there's no tension uh, about the things I took, but... She really said she didn't want anything except for um, her parents' is her inheritance, her parents' is furniture. So, um, so hopefully there's not going to be any problem. But you know, with tensions in the family and how things when it ended, how things were for a while before we started getting along, um, didn't really want her over while we were moving, and she really didn't want to come over while we were moving. So. 
Um, don't know what's wrong with my lips. See how swollen they are? I always thought I wanted the Hollywood lips, but uh, <laughs> I'm sick and that's terrible. I got a cold or something. It started off with allergies. Um, uh, the wife and I have been talking and, you know, kind of friendly talk because that's really how I want this to end up, you know. Um, we won't be best friends, but at least friendly enough to call each other every now and again. But um, she said something's going around. It starts like off with allergies. Have a lot of officers at our unit down and my poor kid's starting to get sick. You know, she can go and go and go on a little to no sleep. She's always been like that, even as a, as a child. Um, and uh, so this just no sleeping. She's just been really pushing and it's been really great knowing I really can't do a whole lot. And so I pushed last night and I'm very sore and um, really exhausted so I could imagine how she is. Um, but she's hanging in there. She's like, Mom, we're almost done. We can, we can die tomorrow. <laughs> so as soon as the mattresses are in here and the boys, there's still some things um, left to get at the house. Little odds and ends that we just simply couldn't get packed. And I don't expect the, the nephews to pack all that. So my sister is at the house helping my daughter. So uh, she's directing them what to take to make sure that we don't take any of the wife's things. Uh, it's not what I'm about, you know. Um, so, and I reiterated that to the, to the wife. So, um, and then I'm here kind of telling them, oh, this goes here, this goes there. So, um, that's it. I'm really sorry I haven't been filming. Um, this just takes a lot out of me. You, you warriors know, but I'm pushing to try to get done. So I anticipate a flare, but the house is small, as you could see. So that's going to be easier for me to get around instead of that big old four bedroom house. Uh, so I'm hoping that, and the minute I can get the internet going here, um, I'll do a mukbang. It's, I could do it on the phone, but you know, it takes just like forever. So if I film on Sunday, you're not going to get it till Tuesday. <laughs> so, um, which I guess is fine. I can do it in little spurts. Uh, I know mama's going to be here soon. That's little Miss Molly Tamale. Uh, see, she's being all upset because... Mama's not here. Mama's coming, baby. Mama's coming. So, uh, anyway, uh, just wanted to get you an update. I look like hell, y'all. I'm sorry. But, like my daughter said, Mom, it's almost over. <laughs> so, it's kind of a weird, it's been a kind of a weird few days. You know, pack it up, and go, going through 16 years worth of memories and stuff. You know, I posted on my Facebook, you know, moving day. How can I be excited and sad at the same time? So, um, but, um, looking towards this next step, you know, and, uh, y'all have been great. Uh, couldn't have better viewers. You're hanging in there with me. Nobody's unsubscribed. <laughs> and I appreciate that. I swear, as soon as we can get this place together or halfway together, uh, where we can cook or she can cook, let me keep it real. Uh, it will be a lot of sandwiches these coming days because she's going to be down. I can just see she's going to be sick and. Uh, I'll do what I can to cook and, and help out. So, like when she got sick before. So, um, but uh, anyway, I'll go ahead and end this. Not a whole lot to say. Uh, I, yeah, some of y'all mukbangers uh, putting out some really, really good videos. Um, happy to see them. Uh, trying to catch up, but with moving, it's just hard. You know, I'm not going to sit there and be on YouTube and Facebook when my kid and my sister are trying to get us moved, so. Um, but try to catch up. Uh, I think they're back, so I'm gonna let you go. Y'all take care, bye. Hello everyone, Fluffy here. Well, it's Sunday about 8.20 in the, in the evening and uh, we are finally moved in. Um, just wanted to do a quick finish up of the weekend. Uh, the house is a wreck, uh, as you can see in the beginning. I hope, I'm telling you, I was so tired when I did. I, I did this video in three parts. This is this, this is Sunday. The other two were um, Saturday. And the first one, I was so tired with those S7s. If you don't turn it the right way, it comes out upside down, kind of like our... Um, when we went to Omar, remember, and she and the wife got the phone and did it upside down. Uh, that happened again, and hopefully, 
uh, by the time you see it all together, I will have figured out how to flip the video, which just means that probably the first part, unless I can split it, I'll be upside down, but I'd rather do that than have everything be upside down when I walk through the house. So hopefully by the time you get to this, you will have seen the correct one. <laughs> um, just wanted to, you know, I know I talked about how aggressive my daughter is in the other clip and, and my sister. We would not have been able to, to get out of that house like we did had it not been for my sister. Uh, she was great. The niece came over today uh, to help my daughter. They built, um, for Christmas, I bought my daughter a nightstand uh, off the internet, off Amazon, and it's really cute. And they put that together, and they got almost all the way on this cabinet uh, that we bought at Ikea. Uh, probably uh, middle of December, we went and got one pretty cheap. You know, I love Ikea. Um, so they did that and organized some of the kitchen. And we want to kind of be strategic in our placing of everything. So we're just not shoving stuff here. Uh, we still have more stuff to get from the other house. But they were like essentials that was just... You know, our bread, our toaster oven, my rice cooker. You know how I feel about my rice cooker. Hopefully the wife uh, didn't take it, but it was ours. So if she does take it, then I really can't blame her. I left it, you know, in the house. Uh, some fresh vegetables and stuff. Just, you know, she was over there directing everybody. They started getting exhausted with all the furniture they had to move. So, you know, we're like, if the food goes bad, we'll toss it out. You know, payday's right around the corner. It's not like we're starving. We do have food. Um, so just things like that, but seeing the garage, because it's such a small place that we put all the boxes in the other in the garage, and we're gonna try to do a minimum of um, one minimum of one box each day to empty out and find a place for um, uh, more if we have the energy. We'll probably only start off with one. Although today, between us, we got like five boxes empty, um, so that's cool. Um, but, yeah, I hope you like the little apartment. Maybe when everything's put together, um, I can kind of walk you around again and let you know how we set everything up. It's a cute place, much smaller than um, than our, my four-bedroom house, but uh, respectable. It's a cute little size. I, I really wish, and God, I'm not trying to, you know, sound selfish, but I wish the kitchen would have had more counter space. But, you know, my daughter said, Mom, that's more for us to clean up. And, you know, it was uh, it was hard for you to clean the kitchen anyway and because you know i hate i hate cooking i like cooking but it's hard for me to stay standing through the whole prep so um she cooks i clean and uh it, it was hard sometimes so oh excuse me i know she's right but i hate admitting that no i don't <laughs> she's a good kid. Um, my mom came over you know i teased her and said so you're gonna bring all the movers lunch i'm not bringing the movers lunch and then to my surprise she surprised us all with some church chicken and so I think it was kind of sweet that our first meal in this house was with family. My mom was here and my sister and my nephews, and we all stopped. And, you know, even the dogs got a little bit of chicken, um, some of the skin and stuff like that. So they even got to eat with us, so to speak. And then last night, uh, you know, we we have no water. So it's mad dashes to the corner store. <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, my daughter went to the convenience store and I told her, I said, why don't you, you had a little bit of cash. Uh, so I said, why don't you go and just buy some snack and, and uh, some sodas? And uh, she's like, okay. So when she came back, she brought back convenience store nachos. Now, I love convenience store nachos. My favorite 7-Eleven nachos. Although the, the Valeros, they have like a salad bar um, for their toppings for the nachos. And um, she went to the Valero. Um, lucky enough, there's one around the corner. And she bought back uh, two boats of nachos. Was, uh, she had fresh onion and jalapenos on mine. She got salsa on hers. And usually I can take that, y'all. I eat kimchi. But because her lips are so chapped and, you know, we're sick, the food was like really spicy. But that was our first dinner together. Uh, was cheap nachos, and so that's, you know, that's kind of what she and I were about before I got married, and, you know, it was just she and I, little adventures, and what the hell is that?
Uh, oh yeah. Anyway, um, so I'm uh, excited and and kind of sad. You know, the other phase of my life is is no more. But that you know, I think the best you know things are going to come for her and for me. Uh, you know, and the and and the soon to be ex. Um, I wish her well. So I don't didn't want this to change me who I was. I didn't want to have it turn me into somebody I didn't want to be, you know, and uh, I didn't. I, I, I kept who I was. So I'm glad for that. But I just did I had to go so abruptly yesterday that I kind of thought, well, I don't think I finished the video up and wanna just tell them, you know, it's the aftermath or <laughs> entire Oh, this fibro sex. I felt really bad. And my daughter said, Mom, don't. You did all you could. You did the best you could. Uh, you know, with the strength that you had. You know you're going to flare. Uh, and, you know, she knows it. And I know it. I'm going to keep going until we get settled. I'm just going to keep pushing and and stuff. And, and I want to film this as soon as we can. As soon as I get internet. Because this Wi-Fi is taking up you know, the hot spots. taking up so much data. And a new cycle just started. So, um. I'm going to um, end this now. And uh, something else, I filmed a, a small one, uh, the same, just a few minutes ago. But I looked at it, and I hated it. Um, I tried to show the dog, and I showed all my bare leg, which is gross to me. And then um, I was sneezing, and then I had a shiny nose with stuff, if you know what I mean. And I thought, I can't post that. And the things that I'm saying, it'll be too choppy to just to try to edit it out. So I thought, let me try again. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, um, thank you all for hanging in there with me. I haven't lost any um, subscribers, and I'm glad. I, you know, every, every YouTuber loses some, whether YouTube boots them out by accident or, um, you know, oh, I wanted to subscribe to somebody that, that views regularly. I mean, Post regular did. I can understand that. Maybe they'll come back. Maybe they'll come when I start to do stuff regular again. Maybe they'll come back. They have the reason to wish them well. They can still be me and not be a subscriber. I appreciate that too. So, and I appreciate everybody's loyalty. I've just got such a great bunch. I say it all the time, but I mean that. Uh, my next goal is going to try to go live. I see Superfly is having such a good time with it. She's done a couple of live shows and and that I haven't been able to watch. I managed to get on one. That was before our, you know, our arrangements to move. Uh, and so I tried it once before. And it showed that I was live, but I couldn't see myself in the camera. And so I don't know what the hell happened. So maybe I could figure it out. <laughs> so uh, anyway, I still look like a bunch of can of biscuits, but I look like less than, you know, that. Dog can't try to put their dog toy in my hair. Looks like psoriasis. I don't think it is. I just looked in the mirror. <laughs> Dorothy thinks I've been out of sorts. It's not their house. Everything is, you know, the polished concrete, as you can see in the beginning of the video. So they're having a hard time with traction. Uh, so, uh, but they'll get the hang of it. They'll really get the hang of it. Uh, so, but you yeah, know, it's different. Now, they started to relax more and more as we started getting our furniture in here because the furniture smells like us. It smells like home. So they'll come out of it. They'll, they'll, they'll persevere. Uh, anyway, this is starting to get repetitive so and probably very boring for y'all. But uh, just wanted to say I'm still here. I'm still kicking. It can't really be that easy. So God bless everyone. Positive vibes out to each and every one of you. I want y'all to have a very great rest of the week or a great week next week. And I will try to get back on as soon as possible with another mukbang or at least a vlog. Okay? Y'all take care. Bye.